Hi, this is Rob Fitz doing makeup from the Magic Parlor in Salem, Massachusetts. And I'm going to do Paul. This is going to be our model here. We're going to make him into a werewolf for the werewolf crate. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. So let's get started. So you have a couple of prosthetic ears here. You can put them on in different ways. I like to put them on straight up and down. I like to also kind of see where they lay. Right? Before I start putting on spirit gum. I'll get a Q-tip. You can use the brush that's in the, in the bottle. With spirit gum, you're putting on a prosthetic. It's always best to put on the glue and let it dry for a minute. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take another coat and put that on. So it's like two coats. That's way, that way it will really hold and stick. So I throw both coats on there to let them dry. And the more it gets, the more tacky it gets, the better. You can use your um, metal spatula tool to press this down as well. All right, so once you got them glued down, the best thing to do to blend those edges is get yourself some of this liquid latex. So yeah, you just put a little, you stipple a little bit of latex there to blend that edge. And you let that kind of dry on its own. If you have a hair dryer, you can dry it. You can also take a, a torn sponge or a sponge and stipple the latex on. You just do it in layers until you hide the edge. Try not to get latex in your hair, you'll regret it. If you're having trouble with an edge, another thing you can do is you can take a little bit of tear, tear tissue and split it in half so it's very, very thin. Just take the tiniest amount right here and make a little layer. You don't want to do this too much because it makes the skin very wrinkly. Looking, it's a good way to take a really hairy, nasty edge and get rid of it. At least for the most part. So while that's drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting them up. So this this color right here is a very, very it's a tan. So it's, it's the closest to his skin tone that we have. We're going to do that just on our highlight areas. So we're going to kind of go with the sort of classic werewolf look. I'm going to show you some things to enhance them. This is, this is also, this is the next color we're using, this brown. And you can do a lot of different stuff with this. You can actually take the brows and beat them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm kind of slowly creating this, the dimensions of uh, the face, you know, kind of like shading things and creating it with a face painting angle. So you can kind of go from there. This is a good base of, you know, where to go in the beginning. and then. You can add as much to it or as, you know, little to it as you want. So you sometimes like to mess around with the shading. Notice the, the lighter color now affects everything. So if you don't like something, you know, you can knock the reds down. Now, one of the things we want to do is match with the color of the ears to, to the rest of it. It's starting to take shape, but here's where you can do that. And actually use this makeup to 
stipple onto the latex of the ears and change the tone slightly. Not really for latex, but specifically, but you can help your situation. You don't, if this is all you have. You can also use a little bit of black. So you have dimension. That way, you're doing this for a haunted house or something, or a cosplay. You can you can get away with this pretty well. So you can take a little of this, the lighter colors. Once this is all is dry, and you can actually kind of prefer to make the nose. Seems like it's going to work if I make it a lighter, or start off with it a little lighter. Yeah, change the color of the nose a little bit, and then take and highlight these or low light these grooves. They really start to change. So one of the things you want to do. Usually, for werewolves, I always see they had they have uh, black lips. You want to take those, give them a little extra with the uh, with the black. You can actually. Just use the edge of your brush and kind of draw it out. You can, you can even do stuff with the brows. One other thing you can do with the with the werewolf look is around the lips and, and like around where the hair is. You can draw out like draw out these little black lines to kind of like you know. Uh, be representative of hair, you know. It's always a good way. Just kind of drag your brush over, knock it down a little bit, just so it's subtle, you know. And around the lips, ever so slightly. That kind of gives it... That's the face painting way to denote a werewolf, you know? When people see at first glance, they see... You know, they're gonna, it's going to say to them, Oh, that's a werewolf. You know, it's, it's hairy, it's chaotic. And then you can always go through and say you don't like something, somehow hit it up with a sponge, blend it out. These are always good points. The temples, this area, right on the top, highlight the crown, highlight the nose and the cheeks, you know, draw this out, you know, kind of create that illusion. You have in your kit crepe hair, and, and crepe hair is something that um, you have to practice with, but this crepe hair is very, it's all bound and it's raveled up. When you pull it out, it pulls apart. Now, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get an iron, an ironing board. You're going to roll, pull it out, and then get the iron nice and hot. And don't burn it, but press it down and flatten it. Flatten the hair, stretch it out and flatten it with a hot iron. That's going to make it nice and flat. And you're going to have flat hair like this. Right? It could be a little... It doesn't have to be this perfectly flat, but this is a, a great way to keep it. Now, whenever you're doing any kind of hair work, you always want to say we're going to build a beard or build like some... just along right in here. Just little hairs. Uh, you want to work from the outside and work in. You never want to work you never want to start here and go that way. You always want to go this way. So what you're going to do, I'm going to lay down a little bit of spirit gum here. You want to do something cool. 
you know, we'll do a little more, put a little enhancements to it. You have the hair, so you might as well. Cut it so it's a flat edge. So you take your hairs and you press them into the spirit gum and then you do your trimming. And it looks like we want to do this very chaotically so you can cut a nice even edge here. Throw on another layer. Add some stuff to his brows. I'm going to want to trim it out though a little bit. It does tend to get everywhere. Some people like that look, but what I'll do is I'll I'll um I'll show you the you know how like I'm gonna do hair on this side and I'll show you with with hair and without. So yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can do it individual hairs if you want. You can pull out what you don't want. You can overdo it and then just pull stuff out so you get the right level. It's working with the hair is pretty messy though. So as you can see, extend the eyebrow there. Draw this out. You can keep going all along the neck. You keep going forever. You can put fangs. So when you see the difference is drawn on over here, mm -hmm. and then you have the actual crepe hair going here, I wanted to give you guys a little contrast so you could see what you can do with the hair, you know? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you could work on this for hours. You know, there are, I mean, there are guys that could do this, like, whip it out like nobody's business, but... Okay, so this is the uh, tutorial, finishing the tutorial to FX Crate. And uh, one side with hair, and then the other way, you've just kind of drawn on to show you how you attach these things and how you do a little bit of uh, hair work. And uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah.